What is the single most effective thing you can do to speed up your gameplay? Use hotkeys. Hotkeys are simple keyboard shortcuts that you can use to cut down on wasted mouse movement time. Setting up and learning hotkeys is the first step to becoming competitive in any Age of Empires game, deathmatch or otherwise. While the optimal hotkey setup can only be determined by you, there are a few guidelines you can follow to make your hotkey setup optimal for deathmatch. To start, the HD Edition default hotkeys are a good starting point because they utilize a grid layout. On your commands menu, you can see a 5x3 grid. For the most part, the left side of your keyboard lines up with this grid, meaning it's easy to remember which button to press. There are a few exceptions, though, the most notable of which is that when you want to create a unit, you use the middle row of letters, ASDFG, instead of the top row, as you would suspect. However, this is still easy to remember. Also, relatedly, an important trick to know when creating units is that if you press and hold shift, you'll actually queue up five units instead of one, drastically increasing your speed. However, there are other hotkeys that you need to know that don't fit onto this grid. For example, you can use control groups to instantly select a large portion of your army. To set a control group, select the desired units or buildings and then press and hold control while you tap a number on your keyboard. This creates a control group. At any time during the game, you can then tap that number again to select the units in the group, and double tap the number to move your point of view to focus onto them. This very important technique can allow you to manage large armies in different sections of the map at the same time, and therefore is essential. Another type of hotkeys are the go-to hotkeys. You use them to immediately select a certain type of building. The most important go-to hotkey is H for the town center. Also, relatedly, comma and period are the idle military and idle villager go-to hotkeys. There are still many more hotkeys I haven't gone over, but I think you get the general picture. If you want to know how to do something with a hotkey, simply go to your hotkeys menu, or just select over a button and see what the hotkey is. Now, having gone over this, there are a few problems with the HD hotkeys. The go-to hotkeys from military buildings require a button combination, such as Alt-Q for the barracks. This can be very difficult to remember, and even more difficult to use in combination with another type of hotkey. Also, the idle military and villager hotkeys are hard to reach at a moment's notice, and finally, for deathmatch, it's awkward to use the villager build menu. Not to worry though, because several guidelines have been developed in order to fix these problems. First, make the go-to hotkeys only require one button, and put them on the bottom row of letters. This makes them directly under the unit creation hotkeys, making it far easier to quickly cycle through and create units. I personally use B for barracks, V for archery range, C for stable, X for siege workshop, and J for castle, but you can do what you like. Next, I put my idle villager and idle military unit hotkeys on my scroll wheel, so that I can scroll through large numbers of idle units quickly for either quick deletion or to retask them. One other thing I do is change my villager build menu. Now, I do slightly destroy the grid layout in doing this, but I have a very good reason for it. Basically, when you are at the start of a deathmatch game, you want to place those initial buildings virtually instantly. With the HD Edition defaults, you have to press S to choose military buildings, and then press Q to create a barracks, which can be very awkward. The same thing is true for the other creation hotkeys. Also, if you misclick and select economic buildings, you have to start all over again, meaning you'll lose very important and very precious time. Instead, move the hotkeys for the top row of military buildings down to ASDF for barracks, archery range, stable, and workshop, respectively. This will displace the hotkeys for the middle row. You can then move them down below to the third row however you would like, but remember to always have a hotkey for the castle, wall, keep, and bombard tower. You can unbind the others if you wish, because you probably won't be using them in deathmatch. Next, for economic build menu, keep the top row as it is, but move the hotkeys for the second row down to the third row. Unbind all the third row hotkeys for economic buildings, except for the town center, which can be rebound to another key. I then change the select military buildings hotkey to D instead of S. Now, you may be wondering why I make all these changes, so let me explain. You'll notice that for the most part, the second row only has military buildings, and the top row only has economic buildings. This means that you could select the economic build menu, but then press the hotkey for a barracks or a stable and get that building. 
Also, if you misclick and press D when you want to create a house, that's fine because there is no military building set on Q or anything else on the top row. In other words, this setup unbinds unimportant hotkeys such as the Wonder and the Outpost in order to keep other keybinds from overlapping. Most importantly though, it allows you to double tap D to select the stable and double tap A to select the barracks. These are the two most important early game military buildings, and as such, this speeds up your games and eliminates a chance for error. If you want to edit your own hotkeys, I'd suggest that you go to this website and follow the instructions. When setting up your hotkeys, make sure you can always press the unit creation hotkeys whilst being able to reach the shift key. I'll explain why this is important later. Also, if you want to, you can download my hotkeys by following a link in the description if you want to give them a try. Regardless, once you're done, download the HKI file and place it into this directory. Regardless of what you decide to do, using the correct hotkeys will massively speed up your game and is absolutely essential for efficiently setting up your base in Deathmatch. However, there are still many more things you need to learn about your base layout, which is what I will go over in the next video.